I was born 400 years ago in the highlands of Scotland. I am immortal, and I am not alone. Now is the time of the gathering, when the stroke of a sword will release the power of the quickening. In the end, there can be only one. Here we are, born to be kings. We're the princes of the Sometimes I look around, and I cannot believe it. What can't you believe? That it is really me in your arms. Gabriel, do you love me? I love your grace, your beauty, the way you move, the feel of your skin, your kisses, your passion. Gabriel. I want to stop hiding a relationship. No. But... I'm serious. Not a word. Come on. We have a show to prepare. Beautiful, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. No, you haven't. It was created by Ivan the Great for one of his mistresses. No one has seen it for over 300 years. How'd you get in here? I don't know. The door opened. She's beautiful. Who is she? Francesca da Rimini. Francesca da Rimini. Isn't that the painting that was stolen last year in Italy? That's right. How did you get it? I truly am sorry, Cynthia. This was never intended for anyone's eyes but my own. I don't understand. 
understand, Gabriel. How could you? Everything you see here is in some way connected with the most beautiful women in history. It is my inspiration. It is my secret place. My sacred place. Secret place. So you don't want me to tell anyone about it? you ordered, monsieur. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I think you got the wrong guy. I ordered the fruit salad. No, monsieur, you ordered this. No, 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 I didn't. I ordered fruit, you know, like bananas, apples, oranges, that sort of thing. Monsieur, we do not sell fruit. If you want fruit, go to California. OK, OK, just, just excuse me for one moment here, sir. And just pardon me. This is what I ordered right there. You see that? Fruits de mer. Oui, voilà, oui. Fruit de mer, exactement. Bon appétit, monsieur. Excuse me? What, what, what is so funny? Um, sorry. Maybe I should tell you that in French, fruit de mer means shellfish. Yeah, well, maybe in France they should just call it whatever it is. <laughs> Besides, who could eat this stuff anyway? It's good. Try it. You try. Okay. Mm, let's see. Uh, yes, I, uh, I guess that would be fairly obvious. And you are? Mm. Late for a meeting. <laughs> nice meeting you, Richie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe in my next life. <laughs> Courtesy of an old friend, I uh, had a feeling you both like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it a lot.
<laughs> so, what is it that we're celebrating? <laughs> These. That's a fine set of pearls. None finer. They lately adorn the neck of a Marquesa. They still carry her warmth. <laughs> I think that's not the only treasure that you took from her. <laughs> that she parted with gladly. The rest she hasn't discovered yet. <laughs> I left her sleeping the sleep of the truly satisfied. <laughs> You're a thief and a womanizer. <laughs> oh, Bud, a great thief and a great womanizer. You're right. I love women. I can't get enough of them. I want to make them all happy. Ah, I want to make you all happy. How can I do that? I want to please them, Duncan. It's my only goal in life. I thought your only goal was stealing their jewels. That's, that's a secondary objective. <laughs> I believe you're right. <laughs> Stop! The odds are unfair. That's fire! Uh -oh. Fire! fire! <laughs> reload! I'll give them 30 seconds to reload. How about you? Uh, 45. 45? <laughs> you're on. Hurry, reload, we have a sound. Whoa! And two for you. <laughs> At least my women don't send armed patrols after me. Well, I wouldn't have it any other way. It adds spice to my love life. <laughs> and lend to your hide! This is Tessa. Nice to meet you. Hello, Maya. Hello, Richie. I had no idea I would see you here. Yeah, well, I'm a bit of a fashion monger myself. Listen, you were fantastic, stupendous, incredible. You were, uh... You were wonderful. I'm Tessa. Hello. This is Duncan. Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, listen, can I buy you a champagne or something? Sure, but it's free. Then great. I'll buy you two. OK, let's go. I'm going to have a look at the clothes. Thank you, thank you. So it's Gabriel Patone now. Still trying to make women happy, I see. Many people. Thank you, thank you. Succeeding, Duncan, succeeding. You're looking fit. Not quite in my league, but uh, fit enough. <laughs> well, I guess you don't really want to put your money where your mouth is. I have a training area at my apartment, if you care to join me. <laughs> Think about it. Cheers. Cheers. So, what's up? I hope I didn't seem too nervous out there. Nervous? If anybody should be nervous, it's definitely me. Why? Well, look at you, Maya. You are. Uh, you look quite a bit different now. 
I just hope I did okay. A chance like this doesn't come along every day. What do you mean? Oh, you know, my roommate Cynthia was supposed to do the show. Right. But she had to leave town suddenly, so Piton asked me to fill in. And you were magnificent. Uh, Mr. Piton, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Richie Ryan. Sure. Hey, uh, glad to meet you. Well, most people are. <laughs> we need to discuss the next show. Uh, um, listen, Maya, you, uh, you want to go out later and grab a bite to eat? I'm afraid she can't. She's joining me at a reception. Maya? I'm sorry, Richie. Next time, maybe. You ready to go? We found something for me. Something. You found something for you. I didn't. <laughs> Ah, here he is. Yes, there they are. Well, take All right, I'm going to take the shot over there. All right, come in. here. Come on, let's go. Excuse me, monsieur. Mademoiselle, I'm with the police. May I have a word with you? Please? What's this all about? We've discovered a body. We believe it to be Cynthia Hampton. Cynthia? Oh, my God. What? She was killed with a sharp object and left in an alley next to the sin. We've been unable to locate her family. Do you think you could come with me to identify her? I, I, do, I don't know. I'll go with you. That won't be necessary. If you'd like to come with us. about this Piton character from the first second I laid my eyes on him. You mean the second you saw him lay eyes on Maya? But geez, Piton and I have been friends for a long time. Yeah, well, you're the one who said the guy's a thief. So what are you driving at? I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I just don't trust him. Richie, he's an immortal. He's not somebody you want to tick off. How well did you actually know Cynthia? We'd only been roommates for a couple of months. Was she seeing anybody? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. Uh -huh. She was seeing somebody, wasn't she? Yes, she was, but she never told me who. Mm -hmm. I guess he was married or something. And what about her and Paton? What about it? How'd they get along? Great, as far as I know. Did they ever get together outside of work? If they did, I never saw them. Listen, Richie, what Mr. Piton does is not my business. Yeah, 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 right. Maya, somebody killed Cynthia, and what if Piton had something to do? No, he couldn't. Listen, Richie, it was nice talking to you. Maya, Maya, please, listen, listen. If you need me. <sighs> no. understand women occasionally well then when you tell me why they're always going for the guys who are jerks if you're talking about Piton that's not exactly difficult to understand is it oh pardon me for being so stupid I mean the guy is an arrogant humorless self-centered son of a bitch what's not to love Richie he's an ass and you know it you're dealing with a guy who has 300 years experience with women as your competition you think that's what this is all about isn't it Maya, I know how hard this was for you, but I just want to tell you, I thought you were spectacular in the show. 
I never realized how special you are. You're saying that just to make me feel better. No, I never say anything I don't mean. I think Cynthia would be pleased if you were the one to fill her shoes. Oh, but I never even thought. <laughs> I know. Can I have that drink now? Of course. Interesting piece, isn't it? What? Yes, yes, it's lovely. I forgot. I have to meet someone. I need to go. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry. I understand. I found it last night at Piton's apartment. It was Cynthia's. Yeah, and? She was wearing the other one when she died. She got them for her birthday. The police asked me about it. I knew it. So now we know Paton was with her the night she died. But he told the police he did not see her. Why would he lie? Maya, you know why. You've got to take it to the police. But what if it's nothing? If I go to the police, and they question Piton. My career is finished, don't you see? This is my chance, Richie. I know, but Maya, if he did waste her, then you're just protecting him, and where does that leave you? But it's just an earring. You're right. It's not enough.
Nice to see you again. I know this looks bad. Why are you here? I was a little short, and they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. What are you talking about? The designs. They, they, they wanted the designs for your fall collection. Who wanted the designs? The guys. You know, the guys. What guys? The guys with the noses. What are you talking about? The knockoff artists. They said they'd cancel my gambling debt if I stole them. I don't believe you. I swear. And if you didn't steal my designs, what would they have done to you? Only broken both of my legs. You would have been better off. You did kill her, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Are you quite through? Not quite. What's the matter with you? In all this time that you've been with me, haven't you learned anything yet? Oh, Mac, give me a break. He killed that girl. I'm going to the cops. And tell the what? You found an earring, so you broke into his apartment, and you set him on fire? OK, OK. So I, I admit it looks a little funny. Oh, great. Just great. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I think you've done enough already. But Tom hasn't lasted this long without taking a few heads. I want you to leave him alone. Where are you going? To talk to him. Your young friend has caused me a lot of trouble. He thinks I killed Cynthia, doesn't he? Did you? McLeod, you know me. You didn't answer my question. You've killed. You believe there are things worth killing for? Not things. Not property. What about beauty? Flawless, timeless beauty. Perfection itself. Wouldn't you kill for that? Life is beautiful. That girl was beautiful. Yes, she was. But the beauty was transitory. Just using her as an example. I thought you'd understood that. I understand. Now I want you to understand something. What's that? You owe me. I'll be right back. What are you doing? You took the necklace, the one that you admired at the ball this evening. I asked you not to as a special favor to me. Forgive me. It was too tempting. Why didn't you just run? I avoid duels, McLeod, but I never run from them. I haven't come for your head. And I haven't stayed for yours. You want the necklace back. The Duchess is a special friend of mine. She's a very rich friend. She won't miss it. Ah, the famous McLeod sense of honor. Principle. I, too, have principles. And the first among them is that I never give up that which I have acquired. You design dresses for the wealthy now. A man of your talent has no need to steal. <laughs> I need nothing from these fools, McLeod. You fight for the rich, I create for them. I fight for my friends, as you well know. Well, now what do we get, then, you and I, from our rich friends? Crumbs from the table. 
they will ever part with their most valued assets. I consider their friendship is their most valuable asset. All oh, the gods protect us, a man serious. Very well then, I'll leave you the lady's friendship and take her necklace. Why that necklace? I saw larger baubles on a dozen women at the ball this evening. Larger, gaudier, but none as perfect. The Duchess won't live forever. You can steal it back from her heirs. I'm a patient soul, MacLeod, and with my luck, you'd probably befriend her heir as well. No, I've grown attached to that necklace. More attached than your head will shortly be to your shoulders if you try to stop me. So be it. Generations of women yet unborn. Oh, I have so much left to create. So many beautiful gowns. It's a tragedy. Her modesty is very touching, Gabriel. Where's the necklace? Farewell, my lovely. I suggest you leave the palace tonight. I'll make your excuses to the Duchess. You're a man of terrifying principle, MacLeod. And you are a fool. But a gifted one. You have the talent of making women both look and feel beautiful. And rarer still, you make them happy. It was a talent of yours I always admired. I return the necklace. MacLeod, I suppose this means I owe you. Yes, I suppose it does. You'd risk your life and challenge me for a mortal? I'm afraid so. If I had to. But I won't have to, will I? As you said, I owe you. I won't hurt the boy. themselves before, but you might make history. I was just getting the feel of it. Sure. How is it? It's good. It's good. I think I could really get the hang of it if somebody would just teach me. Not a chance. Oh, come on. You're the one who's always telling me I need to know how to defend myself, right? Right. I'll just give you a quick lesson and off you go. Good. Give me that. You know how you fight an immortal? With your wits and cunning. You take out your gun and you shoot him in the chest. And you shoot him again and again. And when he rises... I shoot him again. No. You run like hell. Come to the studio alone. 
Look, just don't... If I see anyone else, she dies. Who's that? Wrong number. Listen, I gotta go. There. Oh, thank you, sir, very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where is she? What are you talking about? Where's Maya? Richie, what are you doing? Is this the one? That's the man. He's the one that broke into my apartment what and threatened to kill me. What are you doing? He's the murderer. He's the one who murdered that girl. Maya, tell him about the earring. Said he was in his apartment the night. What lawyer? Richie's in jail. He went after Piton with a gun. No. No. He said Richie up. The police were waiting for him. He said he wouldn't hurt him. Move over. At least he's alive. It's about time. Have you paid the bail? Bail? Uh, what is bail? In case you've forgotten, Richie, this is France. Eventually, the judge will see you, monsieur, and he will then decide if you must uh, remain in jail until your trial. OK, fine. Let's go see the judge. Uh, I'm afraid that is impossible. Why is that impossible? Uh, because the judge is on vacation. <laughs> but fortunately, he will be back tomorrow. Tessa. 
Duncan! I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Don't worry, Richie. The chef's probably French. You can't leave me here. All things considered, it's probably safer. And what about Pitone? Pitone let you off easy. You could be dead. It's Maya who's gonna be dead. What do you mean? She's with Pitone. He knows she found the earring. I did not think it was important. You told that boy. How much does Cynthia tell you about us? Nothing. I didn't know. Too bad. Now you do. You did kill her. Don't act so shocked. You've suspected me all along. Why? Just bad luck for her. And now for you. I won't tell anyone. Please. I, I swear you can trust me. Trust is a very fragile thing. entrance. He always had a flair for the dramatic. Maya, get out. Tess is waiting in the car. We're friends, McLeod. Not anymore. Well, you know what they say. Breaking up is hard to do.
I'm sorry, Mac. I know it was your friend. Things change. How's Maya? She's, uh, fine, I guess. She, <laughs> she left for Monte Carlo with a Formula One driver. Yeah, don't worry, she'll be back. You really think so? No, not really. She's trying to be nice. 